Most people turn away when they see him. Some won't even sit next to him in a public vehicle, while others simply stare. That's just how life has been for 19-year-old Dennis Gisheha, who has a fist-sized tumor in his eye that has disfigured his face and almost cost him his eyesight. Dennis, who has known no other life, just wants to live a normal life. For now, however, a 400,000 shilling deficit stands between him and his dreams. After two and a half years, I can see pimples. Sasa, your pimples, ikaanza kufura 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 sasa baki kakuwa kubwa sasa nikaenda tofla venye za pata usaidizi nikaenda kinyata fanya ndio danga shule headmaster kanikataa yani nikwa class 1 tena akasema naweza chapo na mtoto mwingine na mawe sasa labra ntibio ni pona dioni rudi shule by this time migraines had kicked in and his eyes would periodically pain. Dennis was then forced to seek further medical attention and Nairobi seemed like the promised land. And after medical examination, the doctor's verdict was immediate surgery. But that just remained on paper. The medical expenses proved too high for the humble family that calls Gatundu North home. Nikuwa Nairobi, ni waza naedanga na changisha, na changisha. Inye nimepata, Napeleka hospitali. Sasa ni wakulia na sposas. Kaniambia hata nipeleka hospitali. Wakanipiga picha. Nikaenda kinyata. Nikatibua vizuri nikapona. Hala ni wakuja. Wakua prima school. He stayed at the referral hospital for one year. Waiting for his newly formed wound to heal. And after getting a clean bill of health, the 19 year old went back to school to pick up from where he'd left. But ill luck followed him. And the growth was back. Wakali ni nirudi shure, tuwa five hivi, ikaanza tena kufura. Sasa, tena likakuja na ilobi kuchangisha tena. Dennis now requires a second surgery, whose cost stands at half a million shillings. He has so far raised 100,000 shillings from good Samaritans who he meets in public service vehicles. Once in a PSV, Dennis distributes flyers with a brief history of his condition, hoping that someone will be kind enough to give him any loose pocket change. But even this is not an easy task. Kuna hatu wengine unonanga hata atakei kuangaria tena na mbuka mayu wa sasa. Hata sayu kena kuchangisha, unezaenda, utapatia mtu kataze itupe, mwingine ichukue, mbuka mayu wa sasa. Kuna mabasi unayandanga, unakataza uingie, kuna zingine ya makonekta na akubari uingie, sasa mbuka mayu wa sasa. Na pengine uneza pea mtu kalatasi, pengine kama kikiti mekawa tuwa tatu, wabili wakatae, pengine mtu moja achukue ya kutangie. Kwa basi moja unakutuwa machangi wana watu kama wanane. The highest amount Dennis has ever collected was 1,300 shillings, which he put into his equity bank account. On a good day, an average of eight passengers donates to his cause. He is also fully aware of the stares he gets from people, but he has somehow become immune. Dennis, who has been in and out of school since the tumor started growing, says his age mates are now in Form 3. And although he knows he'll never catch up with them, Dennis knows that he will one day achieve his dreams. Yenye tu ni mechanyo yo siku, yote na nanga naeka ikwete bank. Arafu, ni kwa nidi kwa napenda sana kujaribu kwa magari, diyo yi pesa meza kufika. Sasa ndiyo tu ndiyo kwa naendela tu na kuchangisha, naendela na kuchangisha, baka tu ni yone tu mefika. Arafu diyo ni udishure. Nikishika hivi sikuizi ya yumi, lakini zamani, kabla sifanyo ya operation, nikuwa na sikanga hivi naanza kusikia uchungu ya ni. Lakini mbali sema haza wakifanya hapa, itaisha kapisa. Dennis's brother Eric Njoroge also wants him to get assistance. Njoroge, who turns 25 this year, says that he prays for his brother to become independent. Njoroge, who has seen his brother live through the illness, adds that some neighbors cite witchcraft as the cause and try to justify it. My brother is here to get to the house, and he is here to get to the house, and he is here to get to the house, and he is here to get to the house, and he is here to get to the house, and he is here to get to the house. He is here to get to the house, and he is here to get to the house, and he is here to get to the house. Mary Njoroge, Dennis's sister-in-law, also notes that the stairs make it worse. 
mkitembea na yeye kwa sababu anapenda kutembea sana watu wanaanza kukuuliza he huyo ni nani yani kwenu sasa wewe na yeye mnaitwaje yani mko related vipi sasa naona yani inakuwa <laughs> yani ni soni kwangu hata kwake hmm. ni ngumu kujibu e, ni ngumu sasa kujibu mambo mengine e. <laughs> But with all this going on, the science loving Dennis, who is also an ardent supporter of Manchester United, still hopes and dreams. His favorite food remains chips, chicken, and a cold Fanta pineapple. Just a normal teenage boy. Reporting for Capital News, Amambo Indonga.